welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, hello. Today we're going to be reacting to Volume Reverse I'm Not a Vampire Revamped. I didn't even know that this existed until the last Falling in Reverse Reimagined song that we reacted to, the brand new one, Last Resort. Yeah, I didn't know this one existed until the comments everyone's like, oh, because I brought up, oh, I like Drug is Re, or Drug in Me is Reimagined, and everyone's like, wait a minute, you didn't know about the revamp one? So here we are. So I don't know if revamped has the same meaning as reimagined, but I guess we're going to assume that it is. Going to be a similar style? I don't know. I don't know if there's like a separation between reimagined and revamped. I don't know. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. And then I also stream on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. ESC. I'm an Escape from Tarkov streamer. Pew pew. All right, let's get into this. I'm excited, guys, so let's jump right into it. Turn this up. It's Paige! Sorry. Coursing through my veins When did I become so cold? For goodness sakes Where is my self-control? If home is where my heart is Then my heart has lost all
was way more captivating than the song like and not that that's uh, i'm not meaning that as like a diss or anything but like you're just like sitting there like this the whole entire time which is like nice because i'll be honest i think i like the original song better like i would pick the original song over this but just to sit there and watch something i'd pick that like that is really like watching a whole freaking movie so that is pretty cool i like it and i love the page was in it and i would say her real name but i'll be honest i can't pronounce it soraya i just call her page because i can't pronounce shit but like she's so beautiful in this and she does such a good job like her acting i don't know if that's something she's really into per se but like she's good at it i mean she's an entertainer and stuff and a fighter herself so like i'm sure like this comes naturally to her uh, but, like, she did a really good job. I see she needs to be in more of his stuff, just saying. But, like, they did such a good job. You could tell the chemistry is there. You could tell, like, the way she looks at him. Like, it's the cutest. Like, they just fit so well together. And if they ever break up, I will say this. Just as, you know, just, just as a little side note. If they ever break up, I'm never believing in love again. So, <laughs> you guys better stay together. But they're the cutest you can tell the chemistry is there, like, just, they just, they work well together. It's really cute to see, and the video, again, the mind of Ronnie Radke is a place that's intriguing, but terrifying, because <laughs> just some of the stuff that he comes up with, like, it's nuts. He just took a song, made a full-ass movie about it, so I don't know if being a movie director is in his cards as like things he wants to do but he'd be a damn good job at it like if he wanted to do it insane but yeah the song i like the original better i thought this was very beautiful and anytime this man sits at the piano i'm telling you it's just like pure gold but i like the original better but it's still like crazy just what all he can do with just creating a music video and just like i don't know it's just nuts I will say, out of the ones that I've seen, oh god, I think I would ultimately pick The Drug and Me as Reimagine as like my top, and then Last Resort, and then this one, but I like them all for different reasons, like I liked Last Resort because it was like, damn, like those lyrics, I mean, the whole thing was a masterpiece, if you watched my reaction to that one, it's just insane because i think so many of us with that one are like vibe into the song and like oh my god this is great but you don't realize the lyrics until you hear ronnie's version and it's like oh <laughs> uh, but like a uh, in a good way uh, but the drug in me is reimagined is like oh uh, get you in the, in the lovey-dovey feels of oh oh shit beautiful but 
then this is like, damn, this was a whole ass movie. So, different reasons for each song. But if I had to, like, personally pick, like, what's your favorite Ronnie Radke thingy? I would say that one. Drug and Me is Reimagined. But, again, like, all three of these, work of art, insane. That one is, I felt like I watched a vampire movie. I'm telling you what, I already liked that movie better than Twilight. But I, I liked it. I'm glad that I got to experience it. I'm shocked I didn't know about this. Like, how did I go all this time without knowing that existed? I don't know, man. I live in my own little world. <laughs> but in my defense, society's really stupid, so... I'm glad I got to experience it. Thank you guys for telling me about it, because I didn't freaking know. Ronnie at a piano, beautiful. Ronnie, your brain terrifies me, but at the same time, it's very intriguing. Still need some new Falling Reverse stuff, because I'm telling you, the more, like, the older this dude gets, the better he gets. Like, he just, like, he's maturing as a person. He's growing as a person, and that, to me, also shows, um... I, I gain more respect for them as an artist when I see growth over time because you see so many artists become sellouts. You see so many of them, their music just isn't as good as what it used to be. It's like not, maybe not that they necessarily got lazy with it, but it's just like, meh. But him, he's grown as a person. He's grown as an artist. He's grown as just a creative and I, I don't know, those type of people I have more respect for, those are the type of people that I'm like, damn, like, respect, I like you, you know, because, I don't know, Ronnie Radke, he's a character, so I like him, I, I think I like him more as time goes on, you know, he's like aging like fine wine, on the inside and the outside, so I'm proud of him, bite what you may say, I don't give a fuck, but... That, to me, is a role model in the rock industry. Like, I don't know, you can come at me all you want about that one, but he doesn't just stay like this. He doesn't do... Di like, he's growing as a person, so... I respect that. I know everyone wants to hold everyone's past against them for the rest of their lives and the cold cancel culture shit, but, like, he is someone that has progressed as a person and with his music. B, he's not perfect, but he's like, you know what? I take accountability for stuff, and I'm going to grow. I'm going to keep doing me. I keep, you know, doing my own thing, and it shows in his music. It shows in, in, in him as a person, so I respect that. I would still find him at Walmart, personally. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and being with me through this process. Yeah. If you liked all this, if you liked that, whatever I just did right there, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on all my socials at Spooky Squirrel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy listening. Love your face. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.